Hello oh, and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. Uh, for this one it is Moon Patrol which as you can see was released in 1982 by the IRM uh, Corporation. Um, a lot of people thought it was a uh, Williams game but uh, Williams were actually just the uh, distributors uh, within I think most of the Western world, certainly in the UK, and since it's Williams, I would safely assume that it was also in the case in the US. I remember weren't exactly a big uh, name in the uh, video game industry at the time of this uh, release, but uh, they certainly made their name later on with uh, R-Type and all the various... Uh, sequels that came along. So, uh, in 1982 you need to keep your expectations realistic but um, again we've got horizontal scrolling which was starting to become a bit more common uh, when this game came along but we've got uh, parallax scrolling uh, three uh, levels of it so it had some, uh, certainly had some visual appeal. Well, let's get the game underway, and let's see if uh, things improve beyond visual appeal. Now, there's no getting away from it. The music is awful, and the sound effects are pretty drab. What about where it counts? The gameplay. Well, I'm pleased to say that uh, in the important uh, areas, it's A-OK. -okay. Uh, gameplay is great. I've been quite a fan of this for some time. Now, of course, this game in particular was one of those games where once we hit sort of 85-ish when uh, like games on the home computer were becoming fairly advanced and as were coin op games this was one title in particular that came in for a lot of bashing from people who were saying oh it's shit it's really basic and all this bollocks so I made it in 71 seconds average is 80 so I get a thousand point bonus that's not bad but I get more than that, I get 1900 uh, point bonus. Now I was never what you would call, uh, you know, a, a great at this game, but I'm not doing... Talk about timing, I was about to say I'm not doing too badly here. Uh, the game is certainly challenging, you could never accuse it of being easy. But I like the fact that the difficulty level, there's a, a fairly gentle curve in the uh, increase in difficulty. But when it does go up, as you can see, yeah, you, it certainly goes up alright. Oh, fucking, I'm going to have to try and jump that thing instead of trying to shoot it. There we go. Oh, I thought I'd fuck that up. Oh, fucking hell! I've got a fucking load of lives here. Oh, fuck that right up. There we go, so I made a complete bollocks up of uh, that stage. I think that was G. So I'm not going to continue. But I will have another go. Right, time out. So, right, off we go. So, as far as the review goes, 
Uh, yes, graphically it's basic, but extremely functional, I and mean, the graphics aren't terrible. I don't think anybody could really say they are. Plenty of people will say they are, but there's no real justification in that. I think they're perfectly fine. Um, audio is where the game is let down. The audio is a bit crap, there's no two ways about it. The music is pretty awful. Uh, the sound effects are quite mediocre, to, if I'm being kind. But um, in the important uh, category, the gameplay, it's absolutely there. It's uh, there's more to it than just your regular, you know, horizontal shoot 'em up. It's you, you can't focus on just one area. You have to time the jumps. Took me a bit longer to get through that one than before, I think. No, it's the same time as before. So yes, you have to uh, obviously get the aim right, but not just what's ahead of you. Shit, I thought I'd uh, just been able to clear that. It's also what's above you. And of course you've also got to uh, get your speed right for getting over these jumps. Oh, fucking hell. So into area G. I think area G is pretty tough. Okay, G was actually fairly short. H is likely to be uh, fairly tricky, I think. I lucked out from being able to destroy all those uh, alien ships quite quickly, same here. So after here we get to another sort of break, if I can get off this level. So I'm thinking I'll be lucky if I can do it. Ah, made the right fuck up of that. Definitely not getting off of uh, this level. Ah, I just cannot get the time ring right for that uh, huge boulder. I'm going to have to try and jump over the two of them. Oh, and also I have to press the right button to jump over that fucking thing. So, fuck it, let's have another stab. So how do I rate the game? I, th I think the game's great. There is no shortage of uh, conversions or, you know, games that were blatant rip-offs. Um, so, I mean, it had to be doing something right. Otherwise, nobody would have wanted to uh, copy it. So fucking close to the end. Arrgh. I should have just tried to jump it instead of shooting one. Uh, oh well. There was a bit of luck there. There we go, so on to uh, J. I don't think I'm going to beat any uh, records as far as the time there. <laughs> yeah, it only took more than twice as long as the average. So, right up here. Yeah. Going too fucking fast. Ah! 
There we go. Well, I made it to every J, so you know I'm I'm okay with that. So um, I will score the game eight and a half out of ten. There's plenty of uh, playability there, and it definitely keeps you coming back for you know that one more go. So despite uh, looking fairly simple, although in 1982 it didn't look that simple. Um, yeah, it's a it's a decent uh, arcade game. I'm quite the fan of it. So yeah, I think uh, eight and a half out of ten is a pretty good uh, score for it. I don't think I'm overrating at all. So um, that is Moon Patrol, and that means that the next video will be the 300th uh, retro review. Now. I haven't actually decided yet what I'm going to actually review for the 800th uh, title. I've got an idea, but I don't know yet for sure if I'm definitely going to do it. But uh, obviously for the 300th it's going to be a major title. Uh, when I started uh, doing this, which was on the 100th, making sure that every 50th game was a major release. Uh, I didn't think I was still going to be doing these videos by the time I reached 300. But um, starting at 300, it will now only be every 100 uh, reviews I do to be like definite major release. Not least because I'm fast running out of them, I think. So uh, after this, it will be yeah, it won't be until f review 400 before I do an another like really big title. Um, so yeah, as I say, I still I'm still not 100 percent sure what that uh, review will be. Uh, I'm hoping to get it done fairly soon, though, because I have pre-ordered No Man's Sky, so I dare say I'll be playing that for a bit, and I dare say there will be videos of it on my channel, not least the uh, review of the game, obviously I will be doing a PC review of No Man's Sky, but uh, yeah that's all uh, things to come. So um, yes, in the meantime stick with, uh, with this one, so there we go, um, Moon Patrol uh, by uh, Irem uh, Corporation from 1982, uh, 8.5 out of 10, decent game, give it a go. Uh, right, that brings this uh, review to an end, and we will see you at the next one.